Jumping into the kitchen once again with the lovely Kerry Erasmus this morning. Our hero ingredient is a yogurt for our frugal feasting here on this Monday. It is also meat-free Monday, so we're keeping with that. Now, we mentioned a little bit earlier on that yogurt is definitely not just for breakfast. But given this that we're going to be making, I will definitely have this for breakfast. It's a lemon mm. and blueberry tea loaf this morning. Wow, using yogurt. Absolutely. Okay, so let's, so the first let's put thing this together. we're going to do is uh, we're going to cream, but uh, easier just to use a whisk on the yeah. show, um, with some sugar and butter, but you can replace with coconut oil or vegetable oil yeah. as well. And that's yeah. light and creamy. At this stage, you add your eggs. All right. Voila. All right. And then if you want to just squeeze lemon juice in that, and the zest of it as well will be awesome too. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm going to How add... How much lemon do you, would you like in the, this? The juice and zest of two lemons. So okay. it's very lemony. Lemony and blueberry. That's what we like. Yeah. So this is just um, a cake flour, baking powder, some salt, and extra lemon zest. Um, right. And the good trick to get the berries, you see how evenly distributed it is? It looks is. beautiful, eh? So the good uh, chef's tip is to add the berries to the dry ingredients and then you coat it in the actual flour mixture. And then in this way, we're yes. also going to add the yogurt now too. Right. And don't worry if it looks gnarly and curdled like this, okay? <laughs> it's supposed to happen because of the lemon. Absolutely. Yes. And then once you add the dry ingredients, it's it's all good to go. Okay, okay. so let me just take this away. The keyword is lemon. It's almost at 23728. Where do we put the yogurt in? You must add it in now. You okay. can add it, yeah, it's basically one of these quick mix things. So in any, as long as you cream the stuff in, in the beginning, yes. everything else can be added in a different order. Here we go. And then you just mix, and mix and mix, and you can continue mixing, <laughs> <laughs> because I'll make you do it. Until you get a nice and, little... And it's quite a, a thick batter, so don't freak out or anything. Yeah. It must be thick. And then you bake it in the oven for about 50 minutes in a 180 okay. degree What is the oven. yogurt going to do? It actually makes a really tender, as you can see, the crumb on this, it's... Um, it's just melt in your mouth there we go. and it reacts so well with the baking um, uh, agents okay. as well. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get that out. There's your, there's your dough. It's beautifully as thick like you were saying. Into the oven and then, you said? Uh, 50, 55, 50 minutes, 180. Yeah. And also a tip, when it comes out, it's quite a crunchy thing because it's yeah. got a butter in it. Tip is turn it around, turn it the other side around and then slice it and then you get these beautiful even slices that hasn't cracked. Look so, at yeah. that and it is awesome. beautiful. Are you it is give soft. it a try? I'm so giving this a try. It is soft and moist. The blueberries are evenly distributed, which yes, I absolutely it's love. it's very important. I know okay. a lot of people struggle with that one. But there you have <laughs> it. The keyword is lemon. It's that to three three seven two eight for lemon and blueberry tea loaf this morning. And you can also check it out on our website a little bit later on. Thank you. Pleasure. And that's amazing. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs>